Hey guys, welcome to Revelation 7 and 8. And, excuse me, yeah, 7 and 8 today. We're going to be doing two of these today to catch up for, the, for yesterday, missing out. And uh, once again, this is the only book in the Bible that's blessed, both by hearing it and reading it. So together we shall both be blessed. We're reading the app version and interlude, Revelation 7. After this, I saw four angels stationed at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth so that no wind would blow on the earth or on the sea or on any tree. Then I saw another angel coming up from the rising of the sun, holding the seal of the living God. And with a loud voice, he called out to the four angels to whom it was granted to have authority and power to harm the earth and the sea, saying, quote, Do not harm the earth, nor the sea, nor the trees, until we seal or mark the bondservants of our God on their foreheads. The 144,000. And I heard how many were sealed. 144,000. 12,000 sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. 12,000 were sealed from the tribe of Judah, 12,000 from the tribe of Reuben, 12,000 from the tribe of God, G-A-D, 12,000 from the tribe of Asher, 12,000 from the tribe of Naphtali, N-A-P-H-T-A-L-I, 12,000 from the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000 from the tribe of Simeon, 12,000 from the tribe of Levi, 12,000 from the tribe of Ishkar, 12,000 from the tribe of Zebulun, Z-E-B-U-L-U-N, 12,000 from the tribe of Joseph, and 12,000 from the tribe of Benjamin were sealed, marked, redeemed, protected. A multitude from the tribulation. After these things I looked, and this is what I saw, a vast multitude which no one could count, gathered from every nation and from all the tribes and peoples and languages of the earth, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, the Christ, dressed in white robes with palm branches in their hands, and in a loud voice they cried out, saying, quote, Salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb, our salvation in the tr trinities to give, and to God the Trinity we owe our deliverance. And all the angels were standing around the throne and around the twelve, twenty-four elders, and the four living creatures, and they fell to their faces before the throne and worshipped God, saying, Aho, or Amen, <clears throat> or so it is, so be it, so it is. Blessing and glory and majesty and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might belong to our God forever and ever. And once again, Amen. Ra. Then one of the elders responded, saying to me, quote, These who are dressed in the long white robes, who are they? And from where did they come from? I said to him, My Lord, you know the answer. And he said to me, These are the people who come out of the great tribulation, the prosecution, and they have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb because of his atoning sacrifice. For this reason, they are standing before the throne of God, and they serve him in worship, day and night, in his temple. And he who sits on the throne will spread his tabernacle over them and shelter and protect them with his presence. They will hunger no longer, nor thirst any more, nor will the sun beat down on them, any, nor any scorching heat for that matter. For the Lamb who is in the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and he will guide them to springs of the waters of life, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes, giving them eternal comfort. Eternal comfort. Revelations 8, the seventh seal, the trumpets. When he, the Lamb, broke open the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven for about half an hour in awe of God's impending judgment. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and seven trumpets were given to them. Another angel came and stood at the altar. He had a golden censer, and much 
incense was given to him so that he might add it to the prayers of all the saints, God's people, on the golden altar in front of the throne. And the smoke and fragrant aroma of the incense with the prayers of the saints, that's God's people, ascending before God from an angel's hand. So the angel took the censer and filled it with fire from the altar and hurled it to the earth. And there were pearls of thunder and loud rumblings and sounds and flashes of lightning on an earthquake. Then the seven angels who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves and sound to sound them, initiating the judgment. The first angel sounded his trumpet, and there was a storm of hail and fire mixed with blood, and it was hurled to the earth. And a third of the earth was burned up, and a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. The second angel sounded his trumpet, and something like a great mountain blazing with fire was hurled into the sea. Mm. And a third of the sea was turned to blood, and a third of the living creatures that were in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel sounded his trumpet, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch flashing across the sky. And it fell on a third of the rivers and on the springs, thank you, and on the springs of fresh waters. The name of this star is Wormwood, and a third of the waters became Wormwood. And many people died from the waters because they became bitter or toxic. Then the fourth angel sounded his trumpet, and a third of the sun and a third of the moon and a third of the stars were struck so that a third of them would be darkened and a third of the daylight would not shine and the right and the night in the same way would not shine. Oh, the signs are here. Then I looked and I heard a solitary eagle flying in mid heaven from all to sea saying with a loud voice, whoa, 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 great wrath is coming to those who dwell on the earth because of the remaining blast of the trumpets which the three angels are about to sound announcing ever greater judgments the revelations 9 and 10 will hopefully be coming today but i don't know if you can tell do you hear races well beautiful sounds now but earlier we're, we're there's a races starting at evergreen the evergreen racetrack which is where we is right now, right now. And so if we don't get the second parts of chapter nine and 10 out today, it will be because of that. We're right next to the racetrack. How does it get better than this? And there's a sleeping Dexter for all of those that missed him and wonder where he was when Kina keeps popping in and not Dex. There's Dex, he's good. Love you guys. <laughs>